what's up guys it's Cavalox here welcome back to a new video and welcome back to the channel now today's video is my Plymouth Argyle versus Ipswich Town match reaction at home park and it's good glad to say that the fans are back um, and hopefully this continues and we get more as we go on but as for the time being it's great to see the fans great to hear their full voices again even though it's 1800 but as you as we said it is a massive step towards it but yeah, shame about the result though. Um, two one loss. We sh we didn't deserve that lose loss. To be fair, uh, Danny May got sent off for a really really silly decision. To be fair, from the referee, the referee was a bit shit today. It's got to be said. But yeah, the first half was incredible by us. Luke Jaffcott opened the scoring up on the fourteenth minute from a Danny Mayer low cross in and. It switched, switched off and we capitalised and Jeff Cott hit the bar and went in 1-0. And then from that we showed passion, we showed aggression, we did everything right. Um, I think we should have scored a bit more. To be fair, Danny Mayer come close. Jeff Cott had a one-on-one -on -one, but really good save from Ipswich's keeper. But yeah, we just outplayed him in the first, the first half. Will Emerson made a really, really amazing challenge on uh, their striker. We never got through for them. And Cal Watts did brilliant. The lineup was Michael Cooper in goal, Cal Watts on the left centre back, Apaku in the middle, and Will Amerson on the right. It was a really good decision for Ryan Lowe to drop Watton and Canavan after Tuesday's shambolic performance. In the midfield, we have Panucci Kamara, Tyrese Fauna, and Danny Mayer. Great to see Danny Mayer back after his little stomach in, uh, problem. And then we had Connor Grant on the left wing back, and Joe Edwards and uh, Noob. Uh, yeah, Newball and Jeff caught up front. And it was a good performance, as you said, in the first half. But then the second half, it went really well. We come out strong. We come out strong. Ipswich come out strong as well. And then on the 50th minute, Danny Mayer got a yellow card for time wasting, which, in my opinion, he shouldn't have time wasted. But it was a soft yellow. But the yellow card for time wasting is fair enough. But... He shouldn't have time wasted. That was his fault. We open up. He can open his uh, hands up and say, "Yeah, I shouldn't have time wasted on that." But the second yellow card was not a yellow card for me. Um, he clipped him by accident, for me anyway. And he went down, and the referee didn't even talk to him. For me, that's a warning. For me, that's a, don't do it again next time you're off, etc. But nah, just literally pulled out his yellow card and send him off. And then it all changed from there. We had to fucking defend for our life mistakes I don't think there was many too many mistakes for it but then it was 1-1 in no matter of minutes Nolan scored a good goal and then the second goal come after like 30 40 seconds later which you can blame you could blame the defense of that no one was closing in down and he just slotted it in it's 2-1 Ipswich Town and it's got to be said, shameful result after the big performance we put in today. I'm really happy, I'm glad the performance, I'm glad, I'm really happy with the performance we put in today from the lads after coming back and showing that we actually can play football over Tuesday's shambolic result. And we move on now, we move on to a big game. Uh, we've got the West Country Derby now, Bristol Rovers at their place. And obviously the last time we played Bristol at their place was the 1-1 FA Cup tie, which Sarsovic missed the penalty to win it to go straight through. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. It's an away game. Hopefully, we can put our away, our away record to bed. And hopefully, we can put a really good performance in against Bristol after their 4 2 away uh, game against Wigan. I, no, it's not Wigan. Who was it? Gillingham? Or one of them, too. I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, we're on to that. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. A massive shout out to Alex Griffin as well for letting me come onto his channel and his live stream. Go and get him to 13.2k subs. That'd be much appreciated. And thank you for having me on. So yeah, massive shout out to him. And yeah, we're on the road to 500 subscribers now. I think we're on 463 now. So 37 more by the end of the season. And we're on 500. That'd be incredible. Your support has been amazing anyway over the last, uh, well, unfortunately, this pandemic. But yeah, thank you for still showing your support and hopefully we'll be back in the ground soon for match day vlogs i cannot wait for that the the day we get in and we can give you match day vlogs back that'll be incredible 
But anyway, yeah. Comment what you thought about the game and comment down below. Did you think that was a yellow card on Danny Mayer? And what you thought the game was? I personally went for a 2-1. I'll go away today, but it ended up being 2-1 Ipswich, which is unfortunate. But yeah, we move, as we said, we move on. And it's looking good for us at the minute. I know we're down 15th, 16th, but hopefully against Bristol we can bounce back and get a, finally get our away win that we that we need. Because our away form, as you know, this season has been shambolic. We've been relying on our home form. But as you say, in this league, that's not the case. We can't do that. So we need to bang it and get the result against Bristol. So, yeah, take care of yourself, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the week ahead of you. And I'll see you guys for next weekend for Bristol Rovers versus Plymouth Argyle. Take care. Peace.